Yo, what's up, diggity dogs? Give me a high five! Uh, whatever, I forget what our last tier list was, but today I'm going to be doing something that I probably should have done a long time ago. I'm going to be ranking uh, every uh, Disney movie, like excluding <coughs> Pixar and St Disney and Star uh, Pixar, Star Wars, and MCU. I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be epic or something. I feel like it's just I was hesitant to do this because a few other YouTubers, uh, I'm including a certain animated crab, sort of already st did this idea a lot better than I could possibly hope to. But uh, but I thought it would be fun to uh, give my uh, rapid fire opinions on all of the uh, Disney movies. I mean, I've seen most of these, or like seen uh, like most of most of these, or know enough of the gist of most of these, so I think I could do a good enough job. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, I mean, it's, it aged about, it's a film from 80 years ago before World War II, so, and it aged about as well as you'd expect, I mean, it's a landmark movie, but looking at it, uh, objectively, eight, nearly a century later, doesn't hold up as well. Unlike Pinocchio, which, um, uh, okay, I'll give, give this point, uh, what, my, I'd say my main niche is, like, dark stuff, uh, intertwined with light stuff, like, stuff like, uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and, uh, and, uh, Beyond Good and Evil, which managed to co uh, combine a cutesy art style with, uh, complete nightmare fuel, and yes, this film does have some of the worst nightmare fuel in Disney that they've rarely managed to recapture, and, uh, some of the more, one of, some of the more, one of the more underrated villains, uh, Great Sense of Adventure, Capture the Spirit of the Book, and really looking forward to the stop-motion, uh, Guillermo del Toro version of this, which is going to blow Robert Zemeckis' film out of the park, we all know it. Even though Robert Zemeckis is the director of Beowulf, he doesn't stand a chance against the horror master. Fantasia, I mean, most of us know uh, know it from like the Chernabog scene, but great example of how to combine uh, classic music with uh, animation. Uh, really, where a Disney took off as an animation studio. Dumbo, I mean, uh, C tier. I mean, uh, most people are gonna remember. It. Okay, and one thing I would realize, uh, this doesn't have uh, not. This doesn't have a uh, whatever it is call um uh, the uh, song of the south. I mean, by today's standards, uh, I mean yes, it's a bad movie by uh, today's standards, but it doesn't deserve to be turned into lost media. I mean, people should at least. Uh, I mean, there are, a lot of people say the film's misunderstood because, but uh, too bad we can never know because uh, people want to have you put to the, put to the sword if you even what if you even lay eyes on it. Uh, Bambi, there's one thing, I mean, C tier, because literally the only thing people remember about it is the mom's death. Uh, didn't see that. Uh, three couple, uh, the two guys from Kingdom Hearts, like, uh, didn't see any, a lot of any of those. Uh, whatever, what's that? Uh, see that? Yep, I'm gonna, just gonna confess it like this, um, I didn't see much of this early stuff. Ichabod and Crane, C tier because I read the original story in American literature and um, the story is much better. Cinderella, B tier, people think it uh, aged well as like uh, standing up to abusers and uh, uh, enjoying life, uh, having a night to yourself. Alice in Wonderland, it's a uh, film for stoners and a film for weirdos, so B tier, I mean, it's uh, one of the better ones. Peter Pan, uh, A tier because I am, uh, because growing up for his first for those rotten adults and I'm not growing up anytime soon. Lady and the Tramp, uh, B tier, I, uh, love doggos. But that film's kind of old. Uh, Sleeping Beauty, people literally only remember it for the villain, like, the prince has no characterization, the princess sleeps through most of the, fi is, sleeps through most of the film. So, uh, B, uh, B tier, I mean, Maleficent is such, like, a, a cla I mean, yes, it's just for the villain, like, such a classic villain. Holds the entire, uh, lame-ass film up. 101 Dalmatians, uh, would be C tier, but, uh, B tier because of how much I, uh, hated Cruella. Uh, The Sword in the Stone, uh, Arthurian, Le uh, A tier because I'm, uh, taking a class on, uh, Camelot Legend and I want to get onto my teacher's good side, so, uh, A tier. Uh, the Jungle Book, I can't tell if this is the last or the first one with, uh, his involvement, but, uh, 
Also, I read a short story, I can't tell if it was uh, that story called The White Man's Burden, I forget if it was satirizing racism or if, or if it was just racist, so, uh, gonna cut it even and put it in a B tier. Because, uh, great songs, uh, gr uh, The Aristocats, uh, no, I didn't see it. Robin Hood, uh, A tier, uh, the first furry movie in existence, which I am not one. But, uh, it is a, a classic story of a uh, steal from the rich, give to the poor. One of the first legendary tricksters in European history. Winnie the Pooh, A tier, Winnie the Pooh is awesome. The Rescuers didn't see that. Uh, The Fox and the Hound. Mm, B tier. The Black Cauldron, A tier. Like, people um, love it just because it's dark, but come on. This is, I know people like are saying, I mean, it's um, a film that people didn't like for a long time, but now it's a cult classic. Like, it has to be the most cult classic Disney movie in existence. And as you all know, with uh, shows, with um, with the games I like, like Planescape, Pro Man, Psychonauts, I am a cult, I am a cultist for cult classics. So A tier, and the villain was awesome. The Great Mouse Detective, uh, A tier, uh, up there with, uh, yep, I loved it. I love the uh, eccentric, uh, bombastic detective like uh, Father Brown and uh, Shirogan and Naoto, so uh, A tier, and the villain was awesome, voiced by Vincent Price. Saw it once on vacation, another time I don't even know. Oliver and Company, didn't see that. The uh, Little Mermaid, it's, uh, I mean, come on, it's A tier. I mean, the beginning of the Din Disney Renaissance. Uh, B tier. Rescue is down under. Some people, I, some guys like it. Some guys, uh, oddly enough, people either think it's it's uh, one of the few like official sequels, like not Disney Toon sequels, but like official sequels. But uh, here it is, Rescuers Down Under. Some people either think it's an underrated gem or just a forgettable film. So there it is. Beauty and the Beast, uh, S tier. Simply, be, I mean, it's a uh, historic animated film. Simply be first S tier of the evening. S tier simply because it's the first animated film to be nominated for Best Picture. And it's, uh, Spider-Verse is slowly taking its place as if you give it anything other than a 10 out of 10, people think you hate, you hate cinema. Uh, Aladdin, that, that is also S and S tier film. Da da da, I mean, the, the style of it, like, it's Arabian Nights, but in a hot, in the style of Hollywood, that is awesome. A great villain, uh, Robin Williams stole every scene it was in, Aladdin was nice. Uh, great Prince, um, The Lion King, okay, that is my uh, favorite 2D Disney film, The Lion King is awesome, I, uh, bought it on DVD at a flea market four years ago, uh, great, uh, great addition to my collection, Roar! Mufasa's death was so sad, great epic battle between Scar and, uh, gr super scary villain song from, uh, Scar and great epic battle from Simba, finally learning to, uh, Hakuna Matata. Pocahontas, uh, C tier for being, uh, uh, Oh, gotta put that in. Pocahontas gaslighting. Uh, and, uh, hasn't aged well. For, just remember, I mean, uh, yep, uh, very, got, really gotta be sensitive to things like that. Punchback of Notre Dame, I mean, it's on automatic S tier, like one of the few films on this entire list that could challenge The Lion King. But, I mean, come on, you know me, you know I'm. Um, uh, super, I mean, super, uh, grandiose, uh, g the greatest, uh, villain song of all time. You know that. Uh, Hurt. And, uh, great story about being a, a weirdo. Uh, Hercules, A tier. A lot of people, uh, uh, really didn't like it. Was hit or miss for people. I mean, uh, Greek myth, like, people are always either gonna point to Percy Jackson or God of War as the, uh, great zetgeist of, a uh, Greek myth in our, uh, in our uh, society, but, uh, Hercules, uh, it's, uh, just like with Aladdin, I think its style really adds to it, it's, uh, got the gospel music, the, uh, Superman story, the, uh, Danny DeVito from, uh, the Rocky movies, Mulan, that is, I mean, okay, that's the only, one of the most important act, uh, badass females in, uh, cinematic history, up there with even Imperator Furiosa, and very glass sad that, the uh, uh, and Mulan is like the worst like uh, Disney remake simply because of how much it butchers its original poem, its original story, and uh, also how much it butchers uh, uh, just uh, and there's also the Chinese government thing. Tarzan A tier, the Phil Collins music uh, really lends itself to this. 
uh, Fantasia, I mean, it's a B tier because, like, uh, it's not as good as the original. Uh, did I, wait, did I put Fantasia? Oh, yeah, Fan yeah, I'm putting the original Fantasia A tier. Fantasia 2000, I mean, it's the celebrity cameos that ruin it, goes without saying. Dinosaur, D, D is for dinosaur. Roar! The Emperor's New Groove, this is a comedic legend. David Spade Llama is awesome. John Goodman is a great comedic duo with him. The villains are literally, uh, the villains are some of the uh, most iconic they've been in a while. Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Okay. One, I'm a huge fan of epic world building, and good god did they uh, go over the top with this. Two, I like steampunk, but for, like Bioshock. Three, I like the uh, 1910s era, like uh, some of my favorite films, like 1917 and uh, Titanic were from that era. Uh, and uh, also, uh, Mike Mignolo, one of my favorite uh, art uh, author of uh, Hellboy, uh, was the character designer, and that really adds to this film. Easily, I mean... So we're entering my, by far, my favorite era of Disney animations, the early 2000s. Like, that was before they, Disney, uh, said screw it to, uh, 2D animation. And gave it to the, uh, more, uh, more factory, uh, more factory-friendly, uh, 3D animations of, that dominated the 2000s. But, like, that era, like, era was these... And by God, did Disney give us a swan song of their 2D animation department there. Some of the most unique films they've had. Some of the best fan bases. Also, the, uh, t their TV animation departments with shows like American Dragon, Jake Long, Kim Possible, and W-I-T-C-H. Uh, that's the actual name of the title. We're also pretty good. Oh, I love that era. Uh, Lilo and Stitch, it's from the dr S. Also S tier, it's from the director of my favorite live-action film of all time, The Call of the Wild. Oops, spoilers for another project uh, that may or may not ever be made one day. But, I mean, what, what's great about that film goes without saying. Treasure Planet, I mean, you know I'm a Mr. Enter uh, stan, and, uh, but, uh, come on, Treasure... And, like, that video, like, really um, made me realize how awesome that film is. I mean, come on, Treasure... That is one of the most ingeniously creative films I've seen in a long time. I cannot go wrong with that. I mean, uh, his, uh, the half-hour-long analysis by Mr. Enter, say what you will about his, uh, other things, but, I mean, that really helps, I mean, this is one of the most underrated Disney films there is. Uh, Brother Bear. Joker is my, so, I'm sorry, A tier just because it's Joaquin Phoenix. Home on the Range, it's a film that's recognized as being lame, and yeah, it's lame. Chicken Little, uh, I mean, that is a super nostalgic film. I mean, uh, I rem uh, I was uh, watching an old DVD and I saw a trailer for it on uh, my old Destiny Deoxys DVD alongside The Incredibles and uh, the uh, second Bionicle movie, so uh, be co-telling on nostalgia. And it has quite possibly one of the most overhated characters in animation, just simply because of how ridiculous it is. But yeah, I mean, like, uh, really, ca I really like this film's style. Meet the Robinsons, A tier. One of my, my one of my favorite animated Disney films of all time, from the uh, creator of those uh, nostalgic kids books, uh, George Shrinks and Roly Polioli, love those shows. And like it's really people have really been appreciating more these days, and uh, great message. Bolt, I mean B tier, B is for Bolt. It's a uh, John Travolta and uh, as very good film. Princess and the Frog, uh, criminally underrated. I mean, everyone hates the uh, part about, like, the uh, frog uh, transformation ruining it. But, I mean, like, come on, Dr. Facilia saved the, the film. Uh, Tangled, A-tier, uh, I mean, it's, uh, uh, this has a super huge fan base. Uh, I mean, doesn't really need to explain. Winnie the Pooh, A-tier, simply because I, uh, that simply because goodbye at 2D animation department. 2D animation is Krusty Krab, 3D is Chum Bucket. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, uh, I mean, I'm a, you know I'm a huge gamer, but, uh, I didn't really like this one. The, uh, references were kind of, uh, like, basic, like, Sonic, Mario, like, the, only the big ones. So, but, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, if you want a good, uh, like, super gamer movie, of course, stick with the obvious Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, one of my favorite films of all time. Uh, Frozen, C-tier, because of how overexposed it is, I hate Frozen. 
Big Hero 6. I mean, Super Mario Logan, uh, Logan 30 Acre really hated this film, and the characters in uh, Super Mario Logan hated it. So I feel obligated to put it in C tier, but B tier because it, I just really like having this film on the background. It's, and, has, and it's been regard, regarded as one of the most average films in the Disney lineup. Uh, Zootopia, A tier. I mean, I'm a huge fan of B-stars, and I mean, I just love the world building in this one. The uh, comet race commentary or whatever. Goes without saying, and the fandom. Moana, also A tier. I mean, there's literally an out, um, a feature-length film-long documentary explaining why one of the villains is awesome, so A tier. Ralph Breaks the Internet, C tier. You fail. Frozen 2, C tier for also being frozen. Put that film on ice. And lastly, Raya and the Last Dragon. I mean, the biggest problem is like, uh, just like with uh, the Rise of Sky, like, with last, the, um, uh, the Force Awakens, the parallels between this and Avatar The Last Airbender, like, it's not just like, oh, it's, oh, you're saying that just because it's Asian culture. No, I mean, like, I could, like, go on for hours, like, uh, like, ten minutes about how ludicrously on point the similarities are. But otherwise, the visuals are good. The, I mean, it was way too short for its, uh, like, um, the amount of effort they put into it. So, yeah, my, uh, ranking for a bunch of the, uh, uh for all of the, uh, Disney movies, movie sans Pixar and, uh, Marvel. See you guys next time.